Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how I made this vest. I will be showing you how I took measurements from a garment that I already owned and I made it into my own knitted piece. The vest that I will be taking my measurements from, it's a sports bra. I am aiming to use the vest that I will be making for the same purpose. The back has a curve on it but I want to keep it straight, will also lower the neckline a little bit. I will draw a sketch of the vest. Don't worry if you can't draw, I can't draw either, and I will run my measurements on this sketch. I will be using centimeters. The measurements that I will need are the width, side height and neckline depth, and this should be enough for me to be able to make it. However, if I need more measurements, I have the vest and I can always do it later on. The vest measures 31 centimeters, and I will use the exact same measurement because the vest is stretch and the one that I will be making will also be stretch. The side is 16 centimeters and the neckline depth is 10.5 centimeters. These parts of the front and the back will be exactly the same up to this point. Moving on to making the pattern. Don't worry if you don't have pattern paper, I do not have that either. I will be using some A4 sheets of paper and I will use magic tape to put them together to create a larger piece. As an A4 sheet of paper is about 30 by 21 centimeters, it wouldn't be enough for me to just use one sheet as my front is 31 centimeters. Magic tape is really good to use because you can write on it, so I wouldn't really recommend you to use just regular tape. Once I have my large piece of paper ready, I'm going to mark the center of the piece so I can have a point to go around. I'm using a pattern master. You can use a normal ruler or anything with a straight edge, but obviously a pattern master would be much more efficient. I'm starting to map the front. As it is 31 centimeters in total, we'll do 15.5 centimeters each side. This is really basic pattern cutting and I think anyone can do it. I also know that the body is 16 centimeters, so I'm going to mark that as well. Going back to my sketch, this is the part that I have marked already and is the back and the front because they are the same up to this point. Going to start drawing the neckline. I also know that the depth of the neckline is 10.5 cm so I'm going to mark that one on paper. We'll grab my vest to check how they did the v-neck. I will measure and now I know that there are 9.5 centimeters from the middle of the V until the point where the shoulder strap will be. I could of course do it right in the middle but I really like how this vest fits me and I want the final piece to be very similar. So I will draw a line 9.5 centimeters from the middle and also will mark where the shaping will stop.
I want my shoulder strap to be 2 cm wide, so I'm going to mark 1 cm each side like so. All I have to do is to connect all these points. I will have to also measure my shoulder strap length. I forgot to add that in the video. I used the exact same measurements as the black vest. They came out a bit too big, a bit too long, and I had to unravel a few rows, but that was not a difficult thing to do. Alright, so getting to the fun part now, planning my knitting. I want my rib to be about 8.5 centimeters deep, so I mark that on paper. This part is just going to be plain knit and knit it straight. This part is 7.5 centimeters. I am basically marking every section and I'm going to write all the measurements and all the instructions down here on this paper. So this will be my rib, I will knit a one by one rib and this will be plain and then I will do the shaping one side at a time. It is time to calculate my gauge, how many stitches and how many rows per 10 centimeters. I have knitted tension swatches and I'm going to choose which one is my favorite. This is my tension swatch. I plied my yarn with a stretch yarn. Ideally, you want to knit a tension swatch that is more than 10 by 10 centimeters wide. Because my swatch is small, I will pin a 5 by 5 centimeter section and I will count how many stitches and how many rows. I'm going to double these numbers because I want to know how many stitches and how many rows per 10 centimeters. I counted a few times and now I know that I have 42 stitches per 10 centimeters, which is 4.2 per 1 centimeter and 108 rows per 10 centimeters, which is 10.8 per 1 centimeter. At this point, you don't have to round these numbers. Figuring out how many rows of rib I want to knit, I can just use the rib that I knitted before and see how many times it fits in here. You can of course do the same and count how many rows per 10 centimeters and then find out how many per 1 centimeters, but this is going to work as well. So I know that this rib is 34 rows and it fits 2 times plus 8 extra stitches and in total I have to knit 76 rows of 1x1 one one rib to get 8.5 centimeters. To find out how many stitches I have to cast on, it's very simple once I know my gauge. So I know that my width of the garment is 31 centimeters in total and I also know that I have 4.2 stitches per 1 centimeter. So I'm going to calculate 31 times 4.2 and that is 130.2. So I have to cast on 130 stitches. Moving on to the next section, this part is 7.5 centimeters and I need to know how many rows I have to knit in order to get 7.5 centimeters. So I'm going to calculate 7.5 times 10.8 and that equals 81. That means I have to knit 81 rows until I start shaping. So let's recap all the things that we know. I know that I have to cast on 130 stitches, then knit 76 rows of one by one rib. Then I'm going to transfer all my needles onto my main bed and I'm going to knit 81 rows straight. Getting to the part where I have to do my shaping for the neckline, I'm going to work on smaller sections and since the two sides are the same, I will have to calculate only once for each side. So this section is 9.5 centimeters and the other section is 6.5 centimeters. The upper part is 1 centimeters each side. 
starting with this side first I'm going to calculate 9.5 times 4.2 and that is 39.9 .9, which is 40 stitches rounded up the upper part is one centimeter so that is four stitches the depth of the neckline is 10.5 centimeters so that is 10.5 times 10.8 equals 113.4 I'm going to round this to 114 so now I have to get from 40 stitches to 4 stitches in 114 rows in order to make this easier for you to follow I'm going to take this section and explain on a different piece of paper we'll draw this section and we'll write all my information It's really good to write down in words. It works really well for me when I write down exactly what I need to do. Basically, I have to decrease from 40 stitches to 4 stitches in 114 rows. So in total, I have to decrease 36 stitches. To calculate every how many rows I have to decrease in order to achieve that, I have to divide 114 by 36. So divide the number of rows with the number of stitches you have to decrease. The result is 3.16. So I have to decrease one stitch every 3.16 rows until I get to 114. However, we know that this is not possible. I cannot decrease every 3.16 rows. So I have to be doing a combination between decreasing every three and every four rows. If let's say as an example this result would have been 8.5 then it would have been a combination of decreases every 8 rows and every 9 rows. And these are my two panels. I did half Milano for the edges. I have a couple of videos on half Milano if you'd like to check them out. I did this so the edge doesn't curl and I'm pretty happy with it. Also did half Milano for the last 10 rows of the back panel and the whole shoulder strap is also half Milano. I decided to cross them over like this as a nice detail. I will attach a photo at the end with the measurement as it came out pretty accurate. And this is the final vest. I really love it and I cannot wait to wear it at the gym. This works for me because I don't need so much support, but I know there are people who need way much more support and this might not be the right fit for them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a couple of things from this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.